and welcome to today's video when we are going to be taking a look around Uckle Grove Holiday Park which is located near the beautiful town of Cheddar and Cheddar Gorge so stay tuned and see what this site has to offer. Buckle Grove Holiday Park is a park situated near Cheddar and is ex excellently located to explore the surrounding area. It's about four miles from the main town and a lot of the road doesn't have paths so consider this when you're thinking about heading into town, particularly if you have younger children. And real quick before we start here, if you like this video why not go ahead and click that thumbs up button and if you really like the video head over and subscribe to the channel. Welcome to Buckle Grove Holiday Park, we're going to take a look around. And the roads approaching the park is quite a main one, so there should be no problem if you are towing. This is situated on the A371, which is the same road that the Cheddar CAMC site is on that we reviewed last week. Just take care if you do arrive through Cheddar Gorge, as the roads there are a little tight. So at the time of recording, you get the gate code emailed to you, which on this occasion was good as we didn't arrive until almost 6 p.m. and their reception was closed. And our picture is nominated before we arrived, S202, and this is hit here on the left. So each pitch down here seems to have three sections, the hard standing, the gravel and the grass. We parked on the grass just to give ourselves a little bit more room to the guys next to us. Welcome to Buckle Grove Holiday Park, we're going to take a look around. So we're going to start walking in from the entrance here, it's a nice big entrance so no problems should you meet anyone coming the other way. And here is the reception area which was closed when we arrived so unfortunately we didn't get to be greeted on arrival. And we're going to carry on walking around here, there is our pitch on the left hand side. And there is a field here where you get some views of the local sites, no dogs allowed in this field unfortunately. I didn't actually go in here but you can see from this sign that it is a tour view uh, so you can view the local landmarks from this field but we're going to carry on now looking around the site. And there are grass and hard standing pictures here on the left here are a selection of the grass pictures and on the right hand side there are bigger hard standing pictures if you wanted to have a a bigger picture or had a bigger unit. We're going to carry on walking around the site now looking what it's got to offer. And there are a few of these chalet style or fixed caravan type style um, homes that can be rented I believe. On the left here the first big brown building you see is the pool which was unfortunately closed and is attached to the lodge which is a bar and restaurant. The bar and restaurant here is only open at weekends and that's a Friday and a Saturday night or during the school holidays. This was a Sunday night at the end of a school holiday so unfortunately we couldn't taste it we should taste test it out which is a real shame because we all like pop into a bar or a pub Got a nice patio here and obviously the grass area with the benches on which will be pretty good in the summer I would imagine. And there's a play park in this area too so while you're having fun having drinks the kids can keep themselves entertained as well but we're going to carry on walking down now back to near the entrance. This is the 
shower block, which we'll look at in a second. Now we are doing this bit in the car. Uh, we had a quick drive up here before we left. It's another area out back for camping. It does look like there are quite a few seasonal pictures up here, ones that are here permanently, judging by uh, the grass and the things that's growing around them up on the hill there, but it was all still clean and tidy. Um, but it was just an area we wanted to check out before we left. We're gonna head back down now to reception, and in a second, I will show you around the facilities. So that's it, that's the side walk around. Let's have a quick look at the facilities now. And as normal, we are gonna start with the showers and the toilets. Everything was open this trip as we passed the 17th of May restrictions. And here we are inside the loos, lots of sinks, lots of space, lots of toilets. Um, and yeah, pretty good, can't complain. There were, I think, four showers. There's a hairdryer as well, obviously. There are four showers, I think, in this block and took a while for the walls to come through, but when it did, no complaints. And here we have the washing up area. Plenty of sinks, clean and tidy. And they have plugs as well, so you can do your washing up with a bowl full of water. This is the chemical toilet disposal. It is one of the more older ones that we've seen recently. And as already mentioned, they have the bar here. It is a typical bar grill with the usual food. We did have a quick look at the menu. Um, unfortunately, like I've already said, not open on the Sunday night. Here's that area where you can sit out again. And of course, again, already mentioned, here's the play park. They also have a swimming pool, but again, not open because of COVID. So worth coming back to have a look at that. And I'm gonna show you quickly now what is nearby. All of this will be coming up in future videos. So don't forget to subscribe. This is the town of Cheddar. Lots to see and do here. Cafes, coffee shops, pubs. There's a river running through it. There's great walks that you can do with stunning views from the top. And nearby is also the Cheddar Reservoir, which is a nice place to spend a few hours. Go for a walk, three and a half K around this reservoir and we play crazy golf, which is also good fun. So in summary, we were a bit surprised when we turned up and saw how empty it was, but I think in the summer holidays or in any holiday where the um, bar and the pool and everything is open it would be a decent park to come back to if you wanted to stay near Cheddar. And thanks for stopping by and watching this Whistle Stops tour of Buckle Grove campsite in Cheddar. Stay tuned and subscribe for more videos on campsites, travel in general and things to see and do in the UK. So see you next time. Thanks for watching.